Okay, in this video we're going to talk about altitudes of a triangle and the orthocenter. So first off, I guess let's talk about some, some definitions here real quick, and then at the end we'll do a, a, a concrete example. So an altitude of a triangle is a perpendicular segment from a vertex to the line containing the opposite side. So one thing to notice is that every triangle is going to have three altitudes, and an altitude can be inside, outside, or on the triangle. So suppose I've got my triangle here. Let's see if we can just sort of make a, a rough sketch of the, of the altitudes. So I'm going to start with my, my point here at the top. Now, again, I'm going to, so this altitude is going to go from this vertex, and again, it's going to go through a line containing the opposite side. So let me extend this line containing the opposite side. So let's see, if I make it a little bit longer, I could make it go out a little bit further on each side. I don't really need this bottom side, but just to, to do that. So I've got this line containing this bottom side. So I'm going to now going to make a line that's perpendicular. So that looks roughly perpendicular. So I've got my vertex. I look at the opposite side, which would be this side. Okay, I, I extend that line out. And again, I'm going to make a line that's perpendicular to the line containing the opposite side that goes through the vertex that's perpendicular. Okay, so that would be one of the altitudes. Maybe we can do the other ones as, as well. So let's see here. Um, okay, so I guess we could do the same thing. Let's, let's maybe make this go a little bit further here. Okay, so for the next one here, okay, so that one looks pretty straightforward. Um, so, okay, so I'm going to look at this vertex, I'm going to look at the side opposite, and I'm going to, again, just make a perpendicular line. So there we go. And last but not least, okay, I, I still haven't touched this vertex at the bottom. Okay, so the line opposite would be this part of the triangle. Again, I'm going to extend it out. So if I extend it, I'm trying to be careful with my artistry here because I want to illustrate something. Okay, so now I'm going to, again, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to make this line perpendicular. So if you if we draw this altitude, it would look something like that. So now we've got the three altitudes drawn. And the thing that's interesting is when you draw these three altitudes, no matter what, it turns out that those three, um, those, those three lines are going to intersect at a common point. And that common point is what's known as the orthocenter. So the point at which these three altitudes intersect is what's called the orthocenter. So again, notice in this case, so my orthocenter is down here. My original triangle was here. So, so one thing that maybe that's worth noticing is that the orthocenter does not have to be inside of the triangle at all. It can be some point definitely off of the triangle, as happens here. It could be in the triangle. Um, it could be on the sides. But um, it doesn't. It, it, any of those three things can happen. Okay, so the orthocenter. So let's actually do a specific example. Let's find the orthocenter of this triangle JKL, and it's got vertices at negative 4, 2, negative 2, 6, and 2, 2. So you don't have to graph this, but um, I'm going to graph it just, just because we can here. So, okay, so I'm going to draw my triangle. It's got points at negative 4, 2, so let's see, negative 1, 2, 3, so this will be negative 4 up 1, 2, so negative 4, 2 will be right there, so that'll be our point J. K has coordinates negative 2, comma 6, so negative 2, so there's negative 2, let's go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and our last point, our point L has uh, coordinates at, the, uh, at 2, comma 2, so over 2 and up 2, so there's 2, 2, Okay, so I'm going to play connect the dots here just to draw my, my triangle. Just play connect the dots real quick. 
So now, you know, we're going to have to do some algebra to actually find this, this orthocenter algebraically. Okay, so one thing we could do is just even, you know, start, start thinking about, okay, well, we know what the ortho, the ortho center is. It's where the altitudes intersect. Now, to do this, you don't have to find all three of the altitudes like we did just a second ago. It'll be enough to find two of the altitudes and find where they intersect. So one of the altitudes is going to be pretty easy because notice this bottom part of the triangle. That's just a horizontal line. That's just a horizontal line. So... I can just drop, if I look at the vertex at, top, at the top, if I just drop that straight down, that's going to be one of my altitudes. And recall, in this case, well, we've got a vertical line. So what's the equation? How do you describe a vertical line? Well, in this case, this vertical line, every point on this vertical line has an uh, x-coordinate of negative 2. So this is the line x equals negative 2. So we've now found one of the altitudes. Now, let's find another altitude. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll take the one over here. Okay, so again, if, if I start at this point, negative 4, comma, 2, I know it's got a, uh, uh, I'm going to take a line that contains the opposite side, and it's going to be perpendicular to that. Well, in this case, I think it's actually going to go right through the triangle. So I think my line would look something roughly, well, let's see here. Let me try to make a good, good rendition here. Maybe something like this. Okay, so now I've got two altitudes. I've got altitude 1. And this is going to be altitude number two. That's my second altitude. And I'm just trying to find out where those two points intersect. Well, what I can do here is I already know the equation of one line. It's x equals negative two. We just have to figure out the equation of this altitude, the second altitude. So that's my question. What's the equation of this line? Well, we can do this without too much trouble. Let me grab another piece of paper here. Well, we know that this second altitude, it goes through, it goes through the point negative 4, comma, 2. Now, the question is, what's the slope of this second altitude? Well, we know it has to be perpendicular to the slope containing this line segment. Well, let's figure out the slope of this line segment, and then we can figure out this perpendicular slope. So this was the point negative 2, comma, 6. We said that this was the point 2, comma, 2. So I'm going to figure out the slope of this line segment. So the slope of the line that goes through the points negative 2, comma, 6 and 2, comma, 2. Forgive my, my bad spelling of through there. I'm just trying to use some uh, shorthand here, some, some sloppy shorthand. Well, to figure out the slope, remember that's just change in y. So y2 minus y1 over change in x, x2 minus x1. It doesn't matter how you label them. I'll call the first point x1 and y1, and the second point x2 and y2. So if we do that, y2 would have a value of 2. So we'll take 2 minus y1, which is 6. And then we'll do x2, which is 2 minus x1, which is negative 2. So 2 minus 6, that's going to be negative 4. 2 minus negative 2, well, that'll be 2 plus 2, or positive 4, or negative 1. So this segment of the triangle, this segment has a slope of negative 1. Well, if our line is perpendicular to that, remember we take the opposite reciprocal. So we can write negative 1 as negative 1 over 1. So a perpendicular slope... Remember, you flip the fraction. Well, if you flip the fraction, you're still going to get 1 over 1. And you change the sign, which is going to make it positive. So this perpendicular slope, this line that we're trying to find the equation of that goes through negative 4, 2, this altitude, this line is going to have a slope of positive 1. Okay, well, now we can just use the equation y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 1. So we're just using point-slope formula. So we have y minus the y-coordinate, and we said it goes through the point positive 2. 
The slope of the line is positive 1. That's going to be our perpendicular slope. And then we take x minus the x-coordinate, so we would have x minus negative 4. Whoops. So x minus negative 4 will simply turn into x plus 4. And now I'm going to get the equation of this line. So if we distribute the 1, we'll have just x plus 4. If we add 2 to both sides, we're going to get y equals x plus 6. OK, so we're still not done yet. All we've done is we've now determined that this second altitude, this is the line y equals x plus 6. Well, now we can just set up a little system of equations because we have two lines. We have the line y equals x plus 6. And then we also have that x equals negative 2. That was our other line that we had. And we can simply solve this. Well, the easiest way to solve this is to simply um, just, just uh, uh, do a substitution. So we can substitute in the fact that x equals negative 2. And in this case, we'll get y equals negative 2 plus 6. Well, that'll give us y equals 4. So we now know that this point where those two altitudes cross, we already knew that the x-coordinate was negative 2. And we now know that the y-coordinate is positive 4 by our bit of algebra here. So we've now found the orthocenter as being the point negative 2, comma, 4. Now, of course, you could have done this. Um, um, you could have also found this other, the, law, the, the equation of this other altitude. And you would have done the same thing. We would have figured out, okay, well, we know it goes through the point 2, comma, 2. We could figure out the slope of this line on the left part of the triangle. We would take the opposite reciprocal to get the perpendicular slope. And again, we would just go through this same argument. We would find the equation of the line. And then we would end up with a, a system of equations that we have to solve. But again, in this case, it's easy just to use this, this vertical line because it makes the arithmetic a lot easier. So um, again, all you need in this case is just to find two of the altitudes. I mean, by default, the third one's going to go through there as, as well. So just find two of the altitudes, figure out where they intersect, and then you will have found the orthocenter of the triangle. So if you want to see a more complicated example, maybe where things don't line up quite so nicely, I'd be happy to do that. But um, otherwise, that's pretty much all there is to finding the altitude, the altitudes and the orthocenter. So again, notice in this case, my, the, the, the orthocenter did happen to fall inside of my triangle. And my first generic picture, again, when we were talking about altitudes, the orthocenter was definitely outside. So again, anything can sort of happen in these, in these uh, 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 types of problems.